Hey, how's it going everybody? It's me, Scott Dog. Thank you very much for joining us. As you can see, we are back. We're in Mexico and we're about to take on the, the third last race of the season. That's the ter that's a terrible way of saying that. You know what I mean. Um, so we got dry weather from the looks of things all day. Um, they're expecting me a, a one-stopper, potentially a two-stopper. So interestingly, we can see here uh, in the top right-hand corner, you see it says estimated race time. And this tells us whether we're going faster or slower. So softs and hards is slower than mediums, hards, mediums. So the question I would pose is, what is, medi is softs, mediums, softs quicker? Right, That's that seems like a valid question. Let's go to softs. Uh, I'm guessing we can't do mediums and then softs again, but let's try it. Uh, we need this to come this way a little bit. And then we need this to go this way a little bit. I mean, it looks like we might be able to do this. Three second, 3.47 slower. Why? Why is this slower? I don't understand why this would be slower. Is it because there's not enough for sort of traction for soft tires early on? I don't, I, I, I don't understand this. Maybe it's temperature and track rubber. I mean, 122, we're taking off. I don't know if this is wise. This doesn't feel like a, a fantastic option here. Yeah, I don't, I, I don't know why hards make such a difference. I'd love someone to explain this to me. I can only assume it's something to do with temperature or uh, grip on the track. You know, but why would being hards take off a minute and a half, whereas being mediums add on three minutes fifty four? I don't, I don't get that. Um, okay, so what if we soft? Hards. That will... Yeah, see that? Doesn't necessarily prove it, right? Anything at all. Yeah, this doesn't feel like the way to, the way to go. Okay, so we want hards first. We know that. Wherever they are. Oh, we got them here, so we can't have them. Okay, hards. If we get rid of you. And then just have mediums. Time is coming down. 123 taken off. Okay, what if we went hards, then softs? 226 taken off apparently if we do it this way. Well, I mean, this feels like something to try then, right? We just kind of control our our pace and then we get into these. Fine. You're on a D. You're on a dear Vettel. Congratulations. I mean, this is quicker than all of the other strategies all the other teams could come up with. We're surely bound to win. Okay. 
And then I think we might just put you on like, I'm tempted to do this one, but I'm going to swap it round, I think, to say you're on hards first. Then you're on mediums. Just something like that, right? Okay, good. We got our two strategies. Interestingly, Vettel is being the guinea pig for once. I guess, you know, it makes sense because of his car. Um, was he? He's starting in 12th, however. And Stroll was in ninth. I didn't realize that. Well, here we go, everybody. I guess because all of those other penalties were worse than ours. Interesting. Place, but there are quite a few clouds overhead as we look at the lineup on the grid. Looking at Lance Stroll. They might not be in the top three spots, but things could change fast once the race gets underway. And for the second driver, it's Sebastian Vettel. They'll be starting the race from the bottom half of the grid, so there's a fair bit of ground to make up. I mean, on reflection, maybe we should have put Vettel in a, uh, a different strategy because we're going soft on the tyres. We're going easy on the tyres. Everyone's going to overtake us, right? Maybe that's my fault. Okay, well, here we go. The lights are out. And off we go. And there goes everybody <laughs> flying past that. I mean, ultimately, we're in one of the slowest cars, right? So I don't suppose it matters too much. But let's just jump up to Stroll, who's in eighth place, although he's got a car right alongside him. He's in ninth place. He's in tenth place. Oh, God. He's squeezed out. Oh, hello. We're coming up the inside. And we're making it stick, are we, Lance? No, not, not really. Free wide going around that corner. Ridiculous. Good work, Vettel. Look at us in the middle of the pack. Oh, hold on, don't we want to? We want to do this, right? Got back a bit. I think we, I think we'd leave it as this, and we put them on the same strategy as, as um, so we just need to push now. as Stroll. I think you know, going soft right in the middle of the pack doesn't seem, doesn't seem, or going sort of slow in the middle of the pack doesn't seem like the right idea. Look at us; we can adapt on the fly. Okay. Didn't realize there's a William still in front of us. Come on, you can catch him. I take it everyone's on hard, right? No, just us. Interesting. I'm so intrigued by this whole thing and how... You know, medium tyres, soft tyres. You know, why Why ask when we look at them, we get terrible feedback on them that we're going to take longer in the race. You know, and ultimately, surely, you've got more chance of winning the race the shorter it takes you, right? I get that there's scenarios where you want to be on softs to get in, make use of clean air and, you know, get in front of people and all the rest of those things. But... That, that McLaren is really on our tail. And we're not really able to close that gap to uh, to the Williams. DRS enabled. It's going to get you to use this to defend. Defend. Yeah. Although you are right behind Vettel. You're making a move on Vettel. I mean, trying to overtake it. I mean, he's trying to, you know, romantically. Okay, here we go. Stroll is going for it again. Sorry, Vettel's going for it again. Sorry, I'm getting confused. Vettel's always in front of... Uh, Vettel's always in front of Stroll. What's going on?
Let's just have a look behind us. Oh, so I've used defend on the wrong one, right? I'm an idiot. You want that, and you, I guess, want that. Use overtake. Here we go. Now we, now we're, now we're back on the right strategy. I just get, I get very confused when Stroll was in front of Vettel. It doesn't happen. How's it happened today? I guess also because Vettel had the penalty, right? It's, he was finished quicker, but then got dropped down the grid. Then everybody else got dropped down the grid. I take it our DRS is open. Yeah. Here we go. Here we go. We're trying it. We're not making it work. Trying it again. More DRS. Flying past him. Up into ninth. Vettel, how are you getting on? This is good, Lance. Come on. I wonder if there's other tracks that could be used. Um, depending on like the season votes and that. You know, to dump out Mexico and bring in, I don't know, Turkey or whatever. Because that's part of the season, right? They uh, they occasionally have changes of tracks or agreements that sort of end and then can use a different track, those sorts of things. Oh. We have low battery. Copy. There's still a lot to play for. We just need to charge up. Copy. I'm guessing there is a car right behind us, right? Oh my goodness. No, they're cut. They're all coming through. No. Oh God. Oh my goodness. I'm getting nudged a little bit, I think. Well, there goes all those places. Stroll, hang on in there, buddy. I mean, we knew this was going to happen, right? Just a shame it's happening. There goes the Red Bull. He's not staying behind us for long. Wow, this has been terribly exciting early on. Being involved in an actual race rather than just against the Williams. I mean, it's admittedly our race is still against the Williams. We're not keeping these other cars behind us. Look, we're just holding everybody else up. But I guess the question would be, I mean, our hard tyres are on 94%. Their mediums are on 92 So it looks like they're going to go a long way into this race. But it's 71 laps. So look, I think it's time. Oh, hello. We're making a move. Oh no, we're just losing places. The opposite of making a move. I mean, nice attempt. We lost the space. A space, a place. And we're now out of the points. Lance, what are you playing at? Oh God. What are you doing, Vettel? I mean, I guess we should be grateful we didn't hit anyone, but for goodness sake. Also, why does he, why do they always just stop? Why do they just stop? Get back on the track and keep going. I don't care if you cut everyone up. So we are now last. Brilliant. Okay. Well, look, that's answered our, can we go long into this race? Yes. Yes, we can. So now the only thing of interest is Stroll, and if he can overtake the Williams, he's in the points. But th there's, you know, we're 10% of his race in. Bloody Vettel.
that Williams is holding everybody up. Well, us and the Williams. The McLaren is trying to squeeze through and does so. We're down into 12th. Uh, yes, Lance, yes. Here comes the Mercedes. Oh, we're trying to force it. The Mercedes is going to take that place back, as is the McLaren. Oh, man. What do you mean, what? Stay cool, man. You're, doing a good job. You're not doing a good job. You're rubbish. And McLaren with a great overtake. I mean, this is what we expect, right? It's not really the end of the world, but... We are considerably slower because of our lockup on that lap, but and we're three seconds behind Latifi, but we can expect Latifi to do something silly, right? We've lost another place with with Stroll. And again, we you know, we knew this was gonna happen really. Let's um let's start thinking about speeding this up because we're just gonna keep losing places. Um so lap fifty for you and lap forty for you. So here we go. We'll just watch Stroll roll down the uh, pecking order. We're so much slower than than everybody else, considering we're on this strategy, which they claimed was going to be quicker, right? Alfa Romeo just moved up a place. Let's see if this starts closing that gap now. It's got bigger. Stroll is down into 17th. Alban surely is going to continue to, to drop down. Hold on. What just happened? And a new position just gained by what just happened Let's here? What happened there? Now we see the Williams here. Oh man, we suck. We really suck. We've had some pit stops. I'm not convinced on this strategy now we're on it. I'm really not. But we are in a race with uh, Latifi. But I'm guessing That's a good overtake from Alpine. everyone's pitted, yeah. We're really relying on our one stop. Are they all gone hard now? Because, yeah, interesting. So the only benefit to all of this might be that Pass with an overtake. we'll be on softs when everyone else is on on hards and probably worn hards unless they go in and earn pit again okay we're up to lap 28 we're looking at 40 over here we're looking at 50 over here that's if we get to 50 we know this is going to have a bit of an impact but There's a Mercedes behind us. Like a spin. Oh, it's because it's spun. Okay. Safety car, safety car. Give me a screen to be able to have a look. Um. No DRS. Do we want to pit? Let's just pause this for just a second. Do we want to pit? Lap 40. No, lap 33. I mean, your strategy isn't working. We could pit with you, get you on mediums or softs and then softs again. I think we do it. Okay. Oh, and that's a crash. Alonso is out. That's unfortunate for Alonso, but it's good for us, right? Pit lane. Copy that. So, Spassy, make sure you get your pit limiter, pit limiter as you come in the pit lane. 
could work with a pit limiter. Okay. And I get the feeling you can go later into this race and have the uh, softs. Sounds like someone's locked up. So it's a tad annoying that we came out this far behind the uh, this far behind the safety car, right? We'll keep on this until the. Uh, Till the safety car goes in, which I assume will be soon. Yeah, this is the kind of the worst that could have happened, right? And we'd have been far better off if we hadn't have pit. But, you know, it is what it is. We'll just have to see if we're any quicker than anyone else. There is no overtaking until the control line, and there'll be two laps with no DRS. Yeah. What the heck? Oh, we got to let everyone go past us. Because we're now a lap behind. Get off here. I want to see what's going on. What the hell happened? Okay. Well, the safety car is in. Strolls down to 16th. This is a bit of a mess, right? We are one lap behind Latifi. Is that a new race position for Haas? We are now last because we are being lapped. Well, this went well. Can we unlap ourselves? Is that a thing? Oh, for God's sake, boys. Okay, we're in the pit window for our strategy. I guess the question is, do we care? Um, Energy's good, Lars. Yeah. Well, this is interesting. As everyone's tyres looking, I'm guessing they're looking pretty good. Am I? I'm, I'm assuming I'm allowed to try and overtake and unlap myself, but then you have to move out of the way, right? If you're in front of the leaders or whatever, so. So our tyres, I think, are going to last a lap 50-ish, which was what we were looking at for the for the soft. So I think we'll do that. Okay, DRS is enabled. So fingers crossed we can use it to catapult ourselves forward a little bit. Let's uh, Let's move this on a bit.
What is happening here? I'm going to ignore it since we've got some time left on the tyres. Oh man, look at this. Hold on. He's flying. Absolutely flying he is. Poor old Vettel. Okay, we're in 17th place. Not ideal. Let's just put this on neutral. Okay, let's uh, speed this up a little bit, but I want to keep an eye on the the laps and, and where we are here, right? We want to try and get to lap 50 um, on these crappy tyres. That's the plan. And then hopefully the softs will have enough in them to see us that many laps. Oh, Lance. We can take a look now. For goodness Let's sake. This was the Aston Martin. We know he's got that in him once a race at least, right? They've locked up and gone straight on. Okay. We keep going. Latifi's in the pit. He's come out on mediums. Okay, here we go. So Latifi is in front of us. Are we going to be able to catch him? That's the question. On our new tyres. There's contact. It's chaos on the track. What the heck? Safety car. I mean, if there's a safety car, we should bring you into pit, right? Again, don't suppose it matters too much. Hopefully, Stroll can push and make up some places. There's no overtaking, but we're going to be right behind Latifi. Um. Let's um, let's harvest here. We're going to be right le behind Latifi when this safety car goes in. Let's just put these back to standard for a second. Where is the safety car exactly? Is it a virtual safety car? Is it a hidden safety car? Copy that. So you use pit limiter, pit limiter. Where's the safety car? Is that that's the safety car, right? Oh, poor old Vettel, he's come out behind the safety car again. <laughs> Yeah, there's the safety car. Are we allowed to go past? Yeah, I was going to say, we're allowed to unlap ourselves, right? If we can, which I doubt we'll be able to, but it be good to see if we can. I mean, we haven't even lapped 
unlapped ourselves from the car that's crashed. Yeah. I mean, if we could catch up to this, that would be huge, right? I don't suppose we can, but if we could catch up to the safety car and be in that train of cars on soft tyres, we might have a chance. I'm guessing everybody else is on, other than Bottas, everyone's on hard and mediums. Yeah, so if we could actually catch up with it, that would be huge. And I, is that it? No. Yes. Well, I mean, that isn't huge because we're... Unfortunately, the first ones to catch up to it. So it's going to be us versus Latifi. Okay. I guess we just keep going behind the safety car until we know the safety car is coming in. Safety car will be in this lap. Yep. Make sure we get a good restart. Yep. What the heck? Surely he was brake checking us, right? Oh no, we've got to let everyone go past us. Good job. Oh, come on. Really? Okay, now we're up against Latifi. This is us versus him. Come on. We've got to be quicker than Latifi, right? That was ridiculous. I don't think we're quicker than Latifi. Come on, Stroll, you're better than this, surely. Did we just crash? Did we just crash? Yellow exit of six. Yellow exit of six. Copy. Oh, man. Ten laps to go-ish. And we're stuck behind Latifi. And not getting any closer. I mean, to be fair, Latifi's on mediums. We're on softs. Come on. This is it, surely. I don't think this is it. I don't think this is it. Well, that was disappointing. Only one thing to do, right? Push even more. You can stop lifting coast. Okay. No saving required. Copy. What, Vettel trying an overtake? Okay, fair enough. Isn't he like a lap behind us though? No, okay, he's on the same lap as us. Can't even close the gap. We're the worst. We have to rely on DRS to get us past. A little bit worried about our tyres. That, that down tick looks pretty severe.
Come on now. Doing a good job. Keep pushing. Are we? Lance, do a better job. Here we go again. Everyone's DRS is open, so I don't think it's going to help me a huge amount. Copy. How can we not get past you? Have a look at yourself, Lance. We've got nothing. We are all pretty much exactly the same pace, which is terribly disappointing. <laughs> Although um, Magnuson is on hards, so maybe there's some hope there. Come on. The next straight has got to be ours, right? We've got to be right up his backside. And we have to make it work. Lance, I don't know if you ever have a better opportunity to finish like 14th, 15th again. We're going for it. We're going for it. Oh, I don't know if we're going to make it stick. Oh, we've got the inside line. We do. We're up against the Haas. On hards. We're on softs. Come on. Oh, for goodness sake. Looks like Aston Martin have just gained a race position. Good job. Come on now. Aston How's Vettel doing? Great play there. They've moved up a place. Nice. That's it. That's all it took. Happy to push. Copy. Stroll is trying to make a move on this Haas inside line. Not aggressive enough. We have to have the beam of these two on the hard tyres, right? I know they've got quicker cars than us, but we have to. Surely. Eight laps to go. Let's just check on our tyre wear. Oh, it might be close. We might have to ease up a little bit, but we'll keep going as we are for now. It's a tad annoying that we're not closer. Okay, here we go. Come on. Yeah, they are just quicker than us, right? I think we're going to have to ease up on. I think we're going to have to ease up on tyres, as it as it turns out. Good to push? Oops, that's the wrong that's the wrong ease up. <laughs> Sorry, Lance, my fault.
Yeah, we're really relying on tire drop off at this moment in time for for them and for us to still be okay. Give ourselves the best chance of these last few laps by harvesting. Seven to go. Thanks, buddy. Okay. I want to get past that Williams so bad. I want to get past that Williams so damn bad. Yeah, their tyres are down to 40%. Sometimes it's easier to see on this. I think we're okay, yeah. We're probably fine. I feel like 30 is kind of the magic number, right? After that, problems. We are just not quick enough. Tyres are getting a little warm for Vettel. Fair enough. Six to go. How can we not get past any of these? This is ridiculous. Okay, his tyres are at 39%. That Williams is doing an astounding job of holding everybody up. It's up into 12th. By everyone, I mean all the cars in front of us, not us. We are just not quick enough. Although DRS is charging, so we're going to have one go at this where we put everything on the line and really push as hard as we can. Okay. Five laps to go. Not. And we still can't get past. <laughs> Just going to ease you off on your tyres just for a second. Because we're going to go all out aggressive in the last lap or two. Okay, energy's good. Yeah, okay. Okay. They're about to come round to the 69th lap. That is when we make our charge, I think. Push, push. Okay. Here we go. Nice. Oh, come on. No, Lance, please. Lance, no, Lance. Lance, Come on, Lance. Lance, what are you doing? For goodness sake. Four laps to go. We're still not any bloody quicker than them. Why can't we? Oh, God. Oh, my God. What the heck? What was that? What? What? 
I, I don't think we can pay too much mind to the actual animations. I don't know why we'd have just slowed down there and let him go past again. Come on, just Lance, please, for me. I know I've slated you pretty much every race we've had. Oh, Vets is doing it. Vets is doing it. Yes, Vets. Oh. Oh, my Lord. Vettel is absolutely going for it. I think that's why you need aggressive drivers, right? back on standard yeah, take it easy. this this doesn't Sorry. appear to have worked right just can't get past the Haas what why why is that a thing I don't understand oh is it because it's because we're so far behind, right? We keep unlapping ourselves and then relapping ourselves. I see. So this is all a bit pointless. Because we can't actually uh, under undertake, overtake ourselves, undertake ourselves. Whatever the phrase is. I see. So we get past because we are quicker. You must be able to, like, unlap yourself. That's the phrase, right? Or can you only do that, like, under a safety car or something? Because, obviously, you have to let cars through who have, who have uh, lapped you. So this is last lap. Last lap, you can push the tyres. Let's just check out Stroll and behind Stroll, more importantly. Just to make sure you stay behind us, because this is the only part of this race that matters. I can't believe I thought we had a chance. I genuinely thought we had a chance. But we had to unlap ourselves to have any kind of chance. We're a minute and a half behind Magnussen. So disappointing, that is. We just need to get over the line ahead of Latifi, which looks like we're going to. Perez has crossed the line first. Okay, last couple of corners. So I think we did have the beating of those cars. It just happens that, you know, obviously on our, our in our situation we couldn't do anything about it. Little unlucky about the um, little unlucky about the sort of coming over the uh, the behind the safety car at the point we did. But I say unlucky. I didn't even think about it. <laughs> no, I mean that would do us right. That would do us, but it just happens that literally the only place we gained are when people crash. Well, there you go. Another one is done. Let's just hit continue here. We haven't really got any news for us at all. Um, nice, a development point for old Jackie boy. Right, okay, we're going to put a cut in here. We've got £4 million back in the bank, which is going a little way to making up for all of the uh, all of the money we're spending on the facilities. So we're up to £20 million, which is great. Um, we've got... 
I think we've got two races to go, right? Um, we've got... What have we got going on? Scouting complete, scouting complete. Sponsorship obligation, facility upgrade. Um, scouting department, research complete. And then some racing, more sponsorship days. Uh, and then car development locked for the season. Haven't I got a... Yeah, what, what does this mean? Okay, research period ends there. Okay, so look, we've got quite a lot of time before we then get into next season's races. I personally think we've got two or three two races to go. I think what I'll do is I'll just show you the races maybe on the Sunday uh, for now, unless something interesting has happened. Um, we'll do that just until the end of the season. And then, as I said, next season, we're going to kind of amalgamate all these videos into into one at the weekend um and we will have a break between um a break between races so let's just have a little look at jack here we've got a development point what do we want to put this on adaptability overtaking i think is important um cornering break and reactions accuracy control smoothness I'm going to go, I know smoothness is that low, but I'm going to go on control here because I think avoiding those lockups is vital. Okay, at least he got a point straight away for, for doing that. Okay, well, look, we're going to put a cut in here. I, I guess I'll be back next Sunday with the race uh, in, um, in wherever it is. Where is this? Sao Paulo, and then we've got Abu Dhabi, and then we're done. So we'll probably do that. Thank you so much for watching. Please hit the like button, subscribe button, follow us on Twitter at Scott Gaming. I'll see you again soon. Thank you.